Okay, this problem is just pure intimidation. So, because it gives you an ugly looking molecule. They give you, what's given in the problem is like Ka1, Ka2, Ka3. And it wants you to find the Kb for this particular reaction. So all you have to identify uh, is, see the, it gives you Ka1, Ka2, Ka3. Notice because there's three hydrogens that could be lost. <coughs> here, two of the three hydrogens are still here. And here, uh, one is left over. So really, if you want to kind of simplify, this is a triprotic acid, just like phosphoric acid. So this is like H A two minus plus water goes to H two A one minus plus hydroxide, where the overall acid is H three A. Okay, that's the, your polyprotic. We are missing a couple of protons on each one of these. Okay, so this is, <coughs> uh, let's say I write H2A plus what I'm going to write, I'm going to write this in form of the acid, okay? H2A plus water <coughs> is going to be H2A <coughs> minus, uh, if that donates a proton, So notice what I did. I want to write this in form of the acid, where it's Ka values. The reason I'm doing that is because they give me all the Ka values. So I want to start with something I already know. <coughs> it's a minus. Okay. This is Ka what? The one I wrote. Two, two, two. two. Yeah, because it's the second loss of the proton. Okay? Uh, so this is Ka2, here's the, uh, let me label this, in this reaction, this is the acid, and this is the base, okay, and I have the Ka here, notice here I'm taking, so here's the acid, here's the conjugate base, here I'm taking the conjugate base, and writing the reaction basically backwards. Is that okay? Well, if I want this Kb, how the heck will I find it? Kw divided by Ka, and specifically Ka2. Is that okay? And Ka2 is given in the problem. That's how I'd solve it.